Glenn Beck had on one of his recurring guests here. He's a lunatic rabbi named Daniel Lapin, and he has a theory on Trump that's so out there that even Glenn Beck thinks it's out there. Let's watch. I struggle and ask myself, is it possible that a good and loving God who's not done with a country for which he has done so much, is it possible that in the face of, of such sheer evil, he is creating an entirely unexpected and, uh, and, and almost bizarre form of, of hope and, and, and maybe even redemption? I don't know. But I can't rule it out because the alternative means let's give up. It's all over. And maybe what you need at this point is, is, is somebody who is as ruthless and as, as determined as certain other people are, but with the I, pragmatism of a businessman. I cannot buy into that. I, I, I don't know, but the, I don't see an alternative with which I can live. That God's thrown his hands in the air and said, you're on your own, folks, make the best of it. So the entire time, Beck's sitting there with his hand up like, are you going there? Don't go there. Don't do it. Oh, you did it. <laughs> He's like, I can't. No, I can't. I can't buy into that. So what that guy's arguing is, maybe Trump is from God. And God needed to send somebody who was equally as ruthless and vicious and as determined as Hillary is. Hillary's sheer evil, and Trump was sent from God to combat that sheer evil. And I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what it is, because I can't understand or live with anything else. <laughs> Look at these adults that are basically, deep down, children. Okay, these are the conversations that stupid people have. Because you d haven't read about, you don't know about, the policy specifics and details of what these people represent, or in the case of definitely Trump and to a lesser extent Hillary, all their contradictions and whatnot, but you can't try to determine what they'd actually do for the country in terms of the economy, in terms of health care, in terms of foreign policy. So instead of having a policy discussion about who's going to lead you, Jackass is like, uh, maybe he's from God. Maybe! And even Beck is like, dude, I've played that card many times in my life. This is from God, this thing that is happening. I can't get with you on this one. We're talking about Donald fucking Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. And by the way, let's assume that his ridiculous theory is true for a second. Do you really want to worship that God? You really want to worship a God that would send a message in the form of Donald Trump. An orange face fake billionaire with a meerkat on his head. That's the guy, the one who's in the middle of a fraud case right now with Trump University and all the facts point to the, the conclusion that it indeed is fraud and there's no question about it. That's the guy. <laughs> the guy who says we want to murder civilians in the Middle East, something he said. I'm not only am I going to bring back waterboarding, I'm going to bring back much worse than waterboarding. I'm going to torture, quote, even if it doesn't work. That's the guy. That's the guy God wants. Well, you really, really, really have a shitty God. And what's so hilarious is these guys love to rip the Muslim fundamentalists. Like, oh, crazy. They're the, they're the one that worshiping the violent Muhammad. Come on. So violent in their re religiosity. You just said Trump may be from God. A guy who wants to torture and a guy who wants to murder civilians in the Middle East, as he said. Maybe it's both of your gods that are shitty. How about that?